morning everybody, it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Today I'm in Ottsville, Pennsylvania for a really special project. I'm actually here volunteering my time along with Alan Decker, Charlie Holland, Jay Duke, Sean Frost was here with his crew. This was a project that was sold by my very good friend, Chris Baker. Unfortunately, back in May, Chris lost his eight year battle with cancer. This guy was a hero. He always pushed through. I went on many, many adventures with him down in South America and Africa, all across the country, riding motorcycles, building ponds, was a super awesome guy. He sold this job before he passed away. And this is the last project that had to get finished for Across the Pond Aquascapes, which is still Diane's company. So we said, let's get together. We're gonna volunteer our time, make this thing come together, build the best possible water feature we can for Chris and Diane, and it'll help set her up for the future a little bit. This is an existing earth bottom farm pond. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna be drawing water out of the shoreline here, Sean came in here earlier in the week, installed the pump vaults, made an intake cove. There's some aqua blocks in there. Water's gonna be drawn into this area to feed the pumps, which is going to be feeding a waterfall. Now they came in here and they got this started. They carved things out. They set the rocks inside the shoreline of the pond. From this section here up, is all gonna be lined with EPDM liner. We're going from the bottom up to the top, about 100 feet or so. Right up there, you see Alan and Charlie, that is the start of the waterfall. We're gonna have multiple cascades coming down, meandering through the yard, making their way back down into the pond. What this job means to me is how much our community all cares about each other. Chris meant quite a lot to me. He was one of the first people that I met when I got involved with Aquascape, and we've worked together on numerous projects, and I really miss him, and, um, God bless him. The reason I'm here is because Chris made a big impact in all of us, um, especially he was always hounding me to make sure I went on trips and had some fun. And this is just our way of helping Diane uh, finish up one of the last projects that Chris sold. I only knew Chris for about five years, but he's one of the most amazing people I ever met. His company is amazing, Miss Diane is amazing, and when I'm able to come in and help them finish something that was part of Chris's legacy, his dream. This is something that this family will get to remember Chris by and we will get to remember Chris by forever. Diane Baker, I'm the wife of Chris Baker, and I can't even begin to tell you what it means to have my friends and family here, the contractors I've met through the years, um, to help complete Chris's last job. And um, I just couldn't have done it without them. The people in this community are like no other, and um, I'm just um, very humbled, and I can't thank everybody enough for supporting me and Chris. And that says it all right there. That's the reason we're out here is to support Diane. She is our family and we're gonna make this happen. For right now, Diane and Kimmy yesterday got most of that buttoned up where it meets the existing pond. Alan, Charlie and I set a lot of frame rocks on our way up through here. Now we've got an interesting spot right here. There's a gate that has to be kept in the spot because this is a pool area. It's gotta be totally enclosed by a gate. We're gonna put a stepping stone back behind that gate. They wanna be able to access this, so we're gonna put a stone behind there. They can step on, undo the latch, and the gate swings just high enough to get over this rock. It's a bit of a strange scenario here. First time I've ever had to do it, but I think it's gonna work out pretty well because looking behind the gate, you're gonna see more of those waterfalls going up 
towards the top. Right here is probably my favorite waterfall we're doing so far. We've got just five rocks that are making up this whole section, but there's gonna be a lot going on here. We're framing this in. We got a weird rock back there, and then we've got this cool rock that has this built-in ledge to it. It's gonna fall off of here, hit that, because that's gonna kind of push the water this way, and it's gonna fall off this way. So we're gonna get two waterfalls out of this, but I really like how clean it looks with just five rocks. Then we're rounding the turn. We're gonna have more of like a rushing cobble style waterfall where water's just gonna be bouncing through here. We're talking 14,000 gallons of water, so it's gonna get moving through here. So we've got Alan Schul here also today helping us out. We got Ralph coming in later. So people are just coming in from all over to lend a hand to make this last project of Chris's happen. We're gonna get rolling with setting some more frame rocks, working our way to the top. Hopefully by the end of the day today, we're left with just finished work for tomorrow, and then we can fire this thing up. So right now what we're doing is we're getting to set the last waterfall drop. Pretty much what we want to do is we want to position this so they can see it from that patio over there. So we're going to have to turn this hard. So when that water comes onto the back of this big rock, it's spilling over and facing towards that patio. This other small rock down here is also going to be just a little waterfall because we're going to split up the water volume and then it's just going to all merge together and just crash back and forth through the falls. Starting off day three, and we got this guy here, Ralph Bizat from Pondscapes AZ. Chris was a huge inspiration in my life and, and for my family, and just a, an awesome friend. And uh, you know what? Couldn't have uh, let this go without uh, doing something to be a part of this to help Diane and help Chris with his uh, final project. This is D-Day, we are finishing today. Pretty much everything has been buttoned up from the pond up to and beyond this fence area. We've got some spots here that are all finished up with the gravel edges. The stepping stone is in, the one where you can just stand right here, you can open the gate to get out to that side of the yard. And basically, all of our frame rocks are in. This last 25 feet or so of waterfall is what we really need to focus on this morning. We've got a big rock right there we're gonna use to flank this frame rock. We're gonna come outside the liner so we can bring the grade up because we have to build up the soil behind it for where the waterfall is by Charlie and Allen. Once that's in, we can touch up the edges like the rest of the stream. And then we're gonna take and run our plumbing from the pump vaults at the pond all the way up to the top here where we've got three spillways going in. I think we'll be done by somewhere around two or three o'clock this afternoon. And then we can fire up the generator, turn on the pumps and watch this beautiful waterfall come to life. A lot of times when we work with big boulders, we'll over excavate the dirt to make sure we can get something big in there. It's not gonna be an exact cut and that's gonna leave a void behind the rock. Now what you could do is you could have pulled all the liner back up and you could have back filled the dirt underneath it up to here, closed up the gap and did that. But when you're dealing with so much liner, dragging like 40 feet of it back and forth just doesn't make sense. So what we do is we'll fill up these gaps with a river stone. This is a three quarter to one inch mix. This is gonna just fill up that void in between where the edge of the excavation is and the back of the rock. 
Now, if we just left it like this, water would come through the pool and it would disappear into the gravel. We've got to make it so that this can kind of hold water like the liner. What we're going to do here is called a bib. I'm going to take my foam gun and I'm going to lay down a bed of foam in this entire space. Cover the whole thing in foam, then I'm going to take a piece of fabric and I'm going to push that on top of it and shove it down. That's going to bind the foam and make it really strong. It's going to help it set up faster as well. And then when I'm done, I can just go back when it's dry and trim the excess fabric, lay a rock on here, and now this is going to be watertight, letting the water come into here, pull up, and then go over the waterfall. That is it, folks. We have completed this waterfall here. Chris's very last waterfall that he sold. Let's get Diane, start the generator, plug the pumps in, and see what we all came up with. What do we think, guys? It's uh, just beautiful. beautiful. Oh, I'm jealous. I want one in my yard. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to do a second build. Yeah, yeah. This was a uh, a hard-earned win for Chris right here, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. We all Thank got together. Guys. The fact that everybody could pull together like this and turn something like this into somebody's yard in six days. It's uh, amazing. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. I think we were guided the whole time, to be honest with you, right? Yeah. Everybody had a good, uh, yeah. good spin on this. I think it's. You know, I think Chris would have been happy. Yeah, yeah he we liked. Together, he right. always liked the twisty turns and the, the. He likes the noise and the sound and. I don't think we would have worked as late though. Chris <laughs> 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 well, maybe if you had showed up on time. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> well, hopefully we, we made you proud, Chris. This was as fun as it ever is. Of course, we were missing a huge piece of our team here, but everybody pulled together, made this happen. Incredible water feature, but that's not really the important part. The important part is, is this right here. 100%. And uh, I couldn't be happier to be part of this family. You guys are amazing. Hopefully you guys love this. Come on back every week. Check out what we're doing over here. We'll see you on the next one.